Hey everyone, it's Colin, how's it going? More and more people are able to get a lot of their work done on the web, so fewer are finding themselves needing a, let's say, full-featured computing experience. For a lot of them, a web browser is all that's necessary. So I wanted to share with you a cool piece of software that I discovered not too long ago that I think can meet a lot of people's needs. It's called Porteous Kiosk, and in its simplest sense, it's running a web browser as the operating system on your computer. It's based on Linux, and when you go to install it, you have your choice of using Firefox or Chrome. I'm not gonna go through all the installation options because quite frankly, there's a lot of them, and they're pretty self-explanatory, but I will leave you with this. There are a lot of customization options in there, not just in terms of how this software works, but also the web browser itself. One of the coolest things is this concept of non-persistence. You can toggle that on and it more or less makes the hard drive in the computer you install it on read only so that when you reboot the computer, it starts up fresh. So let's just say you maybe have a family member who isn't very tech savvy and you're worried about them getting malware or like those tech support scams, stuff like that. If you turn this feature on, all they have to do is reboot the computer and it goes back to the way it was when you set it up for them. So it's a very lightweight installation. You can put it on a computer through a CD or a USB flash drive. The download itself is only about 100 megabytes and it doesn't even really need a real hard disk in the computer to work. An SD card or a USB flash drive is plenty for it too. There is kind of a catch. While this software does have fairly modest system requirements, just a couple of gigs of RAM, that sort of thing. It does need a 64-bit capable x86-based CPU. Basically anything from like the last 10 years from Intel or AMD should work just fine. And it has really good driver support for a wide variety of computers, including laptops with Wi-Fi cards. You can also hook up a printer and connect to it through a few different ways. What I found kind of funny actually is it also works really well on old Intel Mac hardware, including this 10 year old MacBook Pro. When you set it up on one of these, it thinks that it's running Windows and Boot Camp, but it just loads this kiosk software and it sees all the hardware and works fine. So basically, if you've got an older computer that maybe can't run the latest operating system, you're worried about security vulnerabilities and lack of patches, that sort of thing. As I'm filming this, Windows 10, 7 just went out of support. There's still a lot of computers that can't run Windows 10. Same thing with the Mac side of things. Well, this could be a really good choice. And even if it isn't necessarily for that family member who isn't tech savvy, this might be useful for like a shop computer out in the garage or your basement where you just need to do some really quick web browsing on an old piece of hardware that you've got kicking around. Uh, it works really well on a virtual machine if you wanna kick the tires and I would definitely recommend you do that before getting into setting this up on a machine. But of course, the best part is that it's free. So I will include a link to it down in the description so you can check it out. Maybe it's useful to you, maybe it's not, but I have found a couple of use cases for it, so I figured at least I'd share. Anyway, if you like the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at thisdoesnotcomp. And as always, thanks for watching.